up? This is David Loy, and uh, we're at Birdhouse Skateboards, little training facility, and I'm gonna teach you some skateboard tricks. Today I'm gonna teach you impossibles. Put my front foot right above my first bolts and this foot right in the corner pocket just like so so you can get a nice little pop and a nice little wrap your front foot on the impossible doesn't really move you just all you do when you do an impossible you lit, put your front foot to the side all it is, is your back foot does everything it's almost like a pressure flip but you just scoop it. Scoop it and flip it. Just like that. <laughs> Not really though. Good way to learn is just, I, I learned it by just kind of just sitting there and just learning the rap. And then you just take it to the board and just try and do it. Just like that. <laughs> The hardest part about the trick is it's called the impossible. I don't know. It's impossible, I guess. No, I don't know. I wasn't really good at them, and then I figured it out. It's all about lifting up. Once you scoop, once you scoop it, you have to lift up, or else it won't work. Or else it'll just 360 shove it. And those aren't that cool. Ed Templeton has the best impossibles, for sure. So if you want to see a good impossible, way better than mine. Way better than, yeah, anybody's. Go watch his video parts, you'll see. For the impossible, when you put your front foot back on, once you get, like, once you get the full wrap around and you can feel it like that, right about there, you'll put your front foot back on. So it's like, <laughs> Once you learn impossibles on flat ground, you can take them to anything. You can do them up step ups, do them on the rails, on the hubbas, on corner pipes, downstairs, down gaps, on flat ground. You can do impossible tail grabs, impossible stale fishes like Ryan Reyes. You can try and do whatever you want with them. T Hawk's impossibles are tight. He's OG, so he's got them real good. <laughs> <laughs> 